I'm Jessica Altieri in the Newswatch Newsroom. Coming up next, the latest star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm Jessica Altieri in downtown LA at a very special birthday party for some very special singers. I'm Jessica Altieri on West Venice Boulevard where a possible case of mistaken identity leads to a murder. More on that coming up. A giant mural has transformed one high school class into a tropical rainforest. It was painted by one of America's top muralists. I'm Jessica Altieri in downtown LA with Florence Henderson and some very special singers. Is she adorable? Those stories and more next on Newswatch. Good evening. I'm Jessica Altieri in the Newswatch newsroom. Our top story tonight, a murder in Mid-City. Police say gang members killed a 27-year-old man on Venice Boulevard early Sunday morning. The question tonight, was he a target or an innocent victim? Martha Solberan places flowers at the scene of a tragedy. It's where her son, 27-year-old Christian Gutierrez, was shot to death. Solberan says she didn't want to believe it when police told her what happened. Two, two guys coming and just asking to, what is your gang? And I said, no, 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 how gang? And then shot him. The shooting happened at 1.30 Sunday morning near the 4700 block of West Venice Boulevard. Police say the two suspected gang members confronted Gutierrez and his friends outside this apartment complex and opened fire. We were just hanging out. Ricardo Cabral ran for his life when he heard the first shots. It was crazy. It was just scary, you know. It's when you see a gun drawn, just like, hey, what can you do, you know? You don't know who's hit and what happened, or do you just you just react crazy and turn around. I come back and I see just a tragedy, like my friend's dying and another one's shot. At this point, police don't know the motive for the shooting, but say it could be a case of mistaken identity since Gutierrez was not a gang member. It's always a, a possibility. Um, gangs often, you know, mistake other individuals for other gang members, so it, it is a, a somewhat common occurrence. After the shooting, the suspects ran this way east on Venice, hopped over this fence, ran through a few backyards, and that's how they got away. If you guys did it and you're out there and you're watching this, turn yourselves in, you know, make it easier on yourselves. The suspects are described as Latino gang members in their 20s, wearing dark clothing and baseball caps. The aunt of Gutierrez, Nora Solberon, says the violence is too much. This has got to stop all this. You know, there's the future of this country and look what it did. This is insane. The second victim suffered minor injuries. If you know anything about this crime, call police at 1-877-LAWFUL. In other news, screen star Ruta Lee is the newest name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Ruta Lee! Lee got her star right outside the Grumman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. It's where she started her movie career as a cashier. Eventually her career reached its height in the movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I don't have the Oscar, but I have something better. I have a star on the Walk of Fame. Finally tonight, a special celebration at the Disney Concert Hall. The Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles held its 30th anniversary party to a sold-out crowd. From Della Reese to Florence Henderson, the stars came out tonight to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles. Henderson says she'd never miss a chance to see this bunch. Well, first of all, having had the opportunity to perform with uh, several gay men's choruses, I know that it's the best evening one can have, not only as a performer, but as an audience member. I'm a gospel singer, you know. I started out singing gospel. And it's a chance to sing with these voices. It's wonderful. The 30th anniversary concert took place at the Walt Disney Concert Hall in downtown L.A. The chorus is toured around the world, but maintains a regular schedule of performances in Southern California. Conductor Bruce Mayhall believes that says a lot about this group of men. We feel that we're ambassadors for the city of Los Angeles. Many times when the chorus travels, the mayor and others make proclamations to that effect, and we are very happy and proud to be ambassadors for Los Angeles in our travel. I think they're enormously talented. I think that I'm so pleased with the way that the world is waking up to um, the rights of humanity. Celebrities are practically everywhere you look tonight. Some for entertainment, some to make a political statement. But the real stars are the singers. The chorus is made up of more than 200 singers from all parts of Los Angeles. Singer Howard Cohen says being gay isn't the only thing they have in common. 
it's a love of music and performing as well as being gay. And I think that we're, we're, it's both a political and a social and musical mission all at once. That's going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching News Watch. I'm Jessica Altieri. You take care.